Reddit made some major changes on July 1st, 2023, which effectively killed off most third-party applications that people were using to access the website. While some apps that focused on accessibility features were given exemptions, other popular applications like Relay and Boost were told that they had to pay upwards of $20 million per year to retain access to Reddit's APIs. However, there is a workaround that we can do by patching the app with a client ID that we create from our own personal Reddit account. This is free to do, at least as of right now, and it's quite easy thanks to an application called Revanced Manager. I have already done videos on how to patch other Reddit apps like Relay and Boost, which I'll include a link to down in the video description below. This process can be done for most of the popular third-party apps for Reddit so if you have one that you'd like to use, then let me know about it via a comment here on this video. Today, I'm going to show you how to patch the RIF is fun for Reddit application so that it can continue to work. To begin this process, we first need to create that client ID that I mentioned from our own Reddit account. We can do this by visiting the website reddit.com slash prefs slash apps, which I'll also be including a link to down in the video description below. From here, we need to click on the create an app button that you see there. And then we're going to fill in some of these details here, specifically we need to give this app a name. And since we're doing this for the RIF app, I'll just go ahead and name it that. Now we also need to fill in the redirect URI field. And to patch the RIF is fun for Reddit application, then this needs to be set as reddit is fun colon forward slash forward slash a u t h for auth so the redirect uri should be set to reddit is fun colon forward slash forward slash auth we also need to make sure that we select this as an installed app and not a web app, which it is set to as a default. Then we're going to tell Reddit that we are not a robot and then tap the create app button. So you should see that we have a newly created app that has been added to our own Reddit account. And if we look here, there will be a string of 22 characters. This will consist of letters, numbers, and or symbols. So we're going to highlight and select that 22 character string and then copy it. We are then going to paste those characters into a newly created TXT file. It doesn't matter if the text file is created on the device itself or if it's done on your PC before being transferred over to your smartphone. This text file should only contain those 22 letters, numbers, and or symbols. We are then going to save that text file and it needs to be named Reddit underscore client underscore ID underscore revanced 
text.txt. And we're going to save that text file in our root directory. So make sure that this is not being saved to the downloads folder, for example, or the documents folder. It needs to be saved in the root directory of our internal storage or internal memory. However, your device or your app has that labeled. With that done, we then need to download the APK file for the RIF is fun for Reddit application. I usually go to a website called APK Mirror to download unaltered APK files as it is a source that I trust. But if you have a website or an app repository that you yourself trust, then you should download that APK file from there. We just need to make sure that the RIF app is not installed on our device. If it is, go ahead and uninstall it before we proceed. You can even go in the settings area of the RIF application if it is already installed and create a backup to export all of your personal data ahead of time. We can then import that information after we reinstall the patched APK file. So download the APK file for the RIF app. And then we're going to download the revanced manager application from their official GitHub page. I'll be sure to include a link to this site in the video description below along with the other websites that I'm showing you here today. We can see that version 1.3.8 is the latest version of this app that is available. But if you see a newer version is listed here, then you'll probably want to download that one instead. Sideload the APK file for Revanced Manager like you would any other app, and then let's open it up. Now when you first launch the application, you'll be asked to grant the app permission to access your files. After allowing this access, you'll then be asked to grant it permission to install other APK files. Go ahead and allow that as well, since we can use this app to uninstall the patched APK file of RIF is fun for Reddit once it's done the job for us. You may also see a prompt mentioning that you can allow the app to bypass Android's battery optimization feature if you'd like but I don't think that that is required since it doesn't need to be running in the background at all. In fact, once we have patched the file that we're working on and install it, then the revanced manager application can be uninstalled completely. So from here, let's tap on the patcher tab down here at the bottom. And then we're going to select an application. But instead of picking one from this list, we're going to tap on the storage button down here at the bottom right. Then we're going to tap on the APK file for the RIF is fun for Reddit application that we just downloaded. Now we can tap on the selected patches option. And we're going to make sure that the only thing we're patching here is to change the OAuth client ID. So with this selected and this only selected, we're going to tap on done. 
And if you have put that client ID string in the file, named it correctly, and stored it in the proper place, then you're ready to tap the patch button that you see down here in this corner. Assuming everything was done correctly, we should not be getting any error messages within this output of text. Instead, it should complete the patching process and tell us that we can now install the APK file. But if you use Reddit on multiple devices, such as two smartphones or a smartphone and a tablet, for example, then we can tap the three dot menu icon up at the top right and then select the export APK file. That way you can save some time and share the APK file with your other device before installing it. Either way, the patched APK file can be side loaded just like you would with any other app you downloaded from outside of the Google Play Store. You will, however, see a notice from Google Play Protect about there being some changes made to this application. And since we did the patching ourselves, we know exactly what has changed and that it is, it is safe to install. So we're just going to tap on the more details link there and then tell it to install the app anyway. With all of this done, your newly patched version of RIF is fun for Reddit has been installed and it can be opened up and used like normal. As I mentioned before, I understand why Reddit has decided to put their API behind a paywall. I just disagree with how much they have chosen to charge for it. The pricing they decided on was clearly made in an attempt to kill off these third-party apps even if they try to make it seem like they're doing it to prevent AI startups from creating models based on its data, which isn't even their data to begin with, since all of it is coming into the Reddit platform for free by its users. Either way, we now have a patched version of the RIF application for Reddit that can be used just like it always has been. Let me know if you have any issues completing this tutorial. I can't promise that I will be able to answer all of the questions and reply to all of the comments, but I will do my best when I'm able to.